What's up guys, AP Stats Guy here, Mr. Nystrom here, talking a little bit more about some probability. Um, we're going to talk about the general addition rule, which has to do with or, this or that. Or is the add thing, or you add. Now, or is also known as the union, okay? It's sometimes shown in a Venn diagram as all the stuff inside here. And you can think of or, or the general addition, as if I was like, all right, I, well, you're going to win a million dollars if you're a male or wearing jeans. Well, if you're a male, you're going to stand up. If you're wearing jeans, you're going to stand up. But you're also going to stand up if you're a male that's wearing jeans. Yeah. So or means this or that or both. Okay. And we have this rule called the general addition rule that helps us find the probability of these happening. Now, if this is the first one you turned into, imagine I have a satchel. And in this satchel, I have 10 chips, 10 poker chips. The chips are colored red, blue, and green. They're numbered. I got five red, two blues, and three greens. So we're going to use just a simple example to understand um, the general addition rule. Um, and not only this, this uh, sack that holds uh, poker chips, I can also put it over my hand like this and erase the board, um, which is what I'm going to do. Ah. So let's think of or. Let's talk about being green and being blue. Let's see. I've got likelihood of being blue and the likelihood of being green. Let's see how likely it is. Well, I've got 10 chips in all, so let's see out of the 10 chips how many are blue. Looks like two, there's a 20% chance. What's the probability that it's green? Let's see, it's a three out of 10, and that's a 30% chance. But I might say, hey, you win 100 bucks if you reach in and you pull out a blue or a green, which means you'll win if it's blue or green. So what's the probability blue or green? Oh yes, this is gonna be exciting. Well, there are five ways to win. And notice that the likelihood of it being blue plus the likelihood of it being green equals the likelihood of it being blue or green. So you just add for or. And this works great when they're disjoint events. What do I mean by disjoint when they don't happen at the same time? There's no overlap of blues and greens, so of course you can add them. But what happens when they're not disjoint? Hmm. Well, when that doesn't happen, we have to use the general addition rule. You just can't add them up. And things that are not disjoint here are things like being red and being an even number. Because we have some things that are red and even. I'm red and even. So am I. So there's a couple things that are red and even. So being red and being even are not disjoint but we still want to find this or thing or this union. So let's see what happens. Let's look at red and let's look at even. Well, the probability of being red, since there's five of them overall, there's a 50% chance you reach into the bag and you pull out a red. Well, what's the likelihood you reach into the bag and you pull out an even? Well, half of them are even, so it's also a 50% chance. If I use that last rule and I was like, hey man, reach into the bag, you win a million bucks if it's red or even, well, I could just add 0.5 plus 0.5, and that gives me a 100% chance that I'm gonna win. Ooh, but if you look up at the chips, you notice they're not all red or even. There's some in there that neither red nor even, like that guy's neither red nor even. That guy's neither red nor even. Hmm, how do we take this into account? Notice what we did when we added the 0.5 plus 0.5. We added the probability of red plus the probability of even. And if you think about the reds and the evens, if I check off the reds first, red, 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 like a rooster's head, and the evens, hey, hey, yeah, 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 notice. A couple of these guys I checked off twice. I double counted this guy and I double counted him to get my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of ten to get my hundred percent. So I double counted a couple. What are the qualities of the one that I double counted? Because I really want to add these. To, oh, hold on, let me fix this so you can see. Oh, there we go. What are the qualities of these guys that I double counted? Those are the guys that are red and even, whoa. Oh. So if I add that 0.5 plus 0.5, I need to subtract the ones that are red and even. So when I do this five out of 10 plus the five out of 10, I have to subtract that two out of 10 to get the real probability 
of the likelihood of it being red or even, because how many are red or even? This is red or even, 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 red or even. Red or even. So only eight out of 10 are winners here. So I need it to end up being eight out of 10. So if I do that, five plus five, there's my eight out of 10. Probability plus R, probability of minus the probability of R and E at the same time. That's my general addition rule, okay? The general addition rule looks like that. It takes into account the double counting. The probability of being red or even is the probability of red plus the likelihood of even minus the overlap you counted twice. You can see it clearer in a Venn diagram. I'm going to show you that in a second. This is the general addition rule. That 0.5 plus 0.5 minus 0.2 gives me the 0.8, which is the likelihood of it being red or even. <laughs> what does it look like in a Venn diagram? Let's see. If I took all these chips and I put them all in a bag and I made a little Venn diagram, you imagine all the chips in the bag, and I said, this circle represents red, this one represents even, and I said, okay, which ones are red and even? That's two and four, they're right here, two, four. The reds are one, two, three, four, and five. Over here I have six, seven is neither, eight and nine is neither red nor even. So if you notice, if I'm gonna find out the red or even, also known as the union, or is it union, everything, I wanna count just out of what's in here. And you can see what's in here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, 10, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of the 10. But if I just added the reds to the evens, I'd say, these five reds plus these five evens adds up to, I double counted this guy because it's part of the even, it's part of the red. That little intersection there is the and. Those are the ones that are red and even. Because I counted them twice, I have to subtract them once. So what does the general addition rule look like? It looks like this, generically. The generic one you'll see all the time, the probability of A or B occurring equals the likelihood of A plus the likelihood of B less the likelihood of them occurring at the same time. Okay? The union of A and B. Add all A, add all B, subtract the intersection because you counted it twice. Now this formula works all the time. It even works for disjoint events. Remember the first thing we talked about, blue or green? Blue or green, this should work also. Let's see if blue or green would work. What's the probability of blue or green? Bug. Well, it's the probability of blue plus the probability of green minus the probability of blue and green at the same time. Let's find out those probabilities. Hmm, the probability of blue or green is the probability of blue, two out of 10, plus the probability of green, three out of 10, minus the probability of blue and green. How many are blue and green? Zero. Therefore, you know, since that's zero, that's the original one we originally did, you're just adding blue plus green. They're disjoint. When things are disjoint, this thing becomes zero so it doesn't count. So that is the general addition rule. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Keep doing stats. Yeah!